afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Sports Box, where the only opinion that matters is right here. I am Mike Galetta, a.k.a. Hamilton Mike, bringing you another Divisional Prediction Playoff Edition. Uh, we're going to talk about the AFC West and how it works is all my tapes are set up for divisions. So if you have a favorite team, check out the division, look for your favorite team, listen to what I'm talking about. We're going to talk about the AFC West today. Let's start from the bottom to the top. We're going to talk about a little bit about each team and give you a little background and then give you the records. Talk about the fourth place team in this division. And unfortunately, I think it's going to be the Oakland Raiders. Um, you know, Oakland, you know, I think they're going to be one of the most improved teams this year, believe it or not, in the league. Uh, great draft with Amari Cooper. Stud wide receiver should do very well. Um, you know, you got Clive Wolford at tight end, who's, who's a little bit of a game player, which, you know, Oakland's gone through a lot of tight ends in the last couple of years. And hometown boy, Max Velez, uh, want to throw something out to him as a linebacker, more of a special teams guy, but hey, congratulations, Max. Way to, be, uh, way to get drafted in the NFL. That, that's a great accomplishment. Um, you know, some key players that they have, they brought Michael Crabtree in, but to be honest with you, they paid him as much as a flat tire for a one-year deal, and Michael Crabtree's not a good guy, so I, I don't understand that move to, to bring that kind of guy in. Um, Derek Carr, quarterback, definitely improved. It's going to be improved this year. Um, and Latavius Murray. Definitely, definitely an up-and-coming running back. So, again, Oakland, young team, but I think Oakland's finally got the big picture together, getting it rolling. Jack Del Rio, I think, is going to need a couple more years, maybe a year or two to get this team on point, but as long as they give him the time, he'll head this team in the right direction. Defensively, you have Justin Tuck at defensive end, Khalid Mack at defensive end, and you also have Nate Allen, which I'm a little skeptical back there. They paid him a lot of money to be a safety, and I don't know if that's a big upgrade. But, you know, for the schedule-wise, they do open up home against Cincinnati. But their last three games, Oakland, unfortunately, are against Green Bay, San Diego, and Kansas City. And they're going to be games that those teams need to jostle around a little bit. So I just don't see it for Oakland this year. I think they do end up fourth in the division. I think it's going to be a 6-10 and 10 season, which is a better season they've had in the recent years. Um, I think Oakland ends up fourth in the division. But, again, they're up and coming. They're headed in the right direction. The third-place team in this division we're going to talk about is the, uh, unfortunately, is the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, Kansas City did have a, a, an okay draft with Marcus Peters as cornerback from Washington and the addition of uh, Jeremy Macklin, a wide receiver. I just don't see Kansas City as, as that much of a force in this division anymore. Um, you do have Alex Smith, who is, you know, getting on a, kind of the downside of his career. You do have Jamal Charles back there, but again, running backs, you know, uh, that timeline is ticking on Jamal Charles with the injuries and the and, and the and the offensive line help. They need offensive line bad in Green Bay. So I don't know if Alex Smith is going to have the time he had in previous years. Um, obviously, Jeremy Macklin's a big key to this year. Travis Kelsey, a good tight end, solid, should should help him out. Um, Alex Smith and Jamal Charles, like we talked about, I just don't see the offense as, as, as electric. Um, defensively, Justin Houston in the middle. Uh, anchoring that linebacking core. Now, Eric Berry, great story coming back from cancer. That's a great story for him to get back on the field. Um, again, I think Kansas City needs to take a step back to move forward. You know, the three games before the bye are going to be at Minnesota, home against Pittsburgh, and home against Detroit. They're going to be three tough games for them. I, I don't see Kansas City being there at the end. Um, you know, are they a formidable team? Yeah, they're definitely a formidable team. I just don't see, you know, possibly – Possibly a wild card there, but I don't think they're going to make the playoffs this year. I have them at 8-8, eight eight, um, struggling to get to that point with their schedule. They do have a tough schedule. Um, so, sorry, Andy, you're going to be in third this year. The number two team this year is the San Diego Super Chargers. That's right. The Chargers, I think, are going to end up second in the division again. Um, you know, you drafted, you drafted Melvin Gordon running back, who's going to be a big key with the loss of Ryan Matthews. Um, you know, you have Phillip Rivers. Keenan Allen, um, Ladarius Green, I think they're moving more into the offense now and getting him more equipped for the offense now. Um, Stevie Johnson, Malcolm Floyd, you know, kind of kind of veteran guys to give them a little stability there. I think they're, they're serviceable wide receivers. Um, but the defense in San Diego has always been the key. Uh, Eric, Eric Whittle back there and Brandon Flowers, I think are definitely going to help this team out on defense. Um, but I don't think they have enough to get over the top. They're going to be there at the end like they always are, um, but I just don't think they have enough. They open up with Detroit at home, and their last four games of the year, they are at Kansas City, home against Miami, at Oakland, and at Denver. So you're going to see what Kansas City or San Diego is made of at the end if they're going to have a shot 
and making the playoffs. Um, I think they will. I think they will make the playoffs. Um, I have San Diego at nine and seven. I think they're you know a decent enough team to get there again. I just don't think they have the horses to get over the top again. But they they're definitely close. They're definitely close. Sorry, Phil. Uh, the number one team in the division. You know, even though you have an agent agent Peyton Manning there, I'm going to say the Denver Broncos. Denver. You know, drafted Shane Ray, uh, off, uh, defensive end from Mizzou. You know, a little risky of a pick, but I like the pick. I think he's a hard worker. I think he's going to show Denver what he's made of. Um, it, it some key people for Denver, you know, obviously Demarius Thomas, um, Emmanuel Sanders, uh, Owen Daniels, a tight end, should should help out a lot, I think. C.J. Anderson, running back, obviously a core, core guy with the, the loss of Monty Ball, getting him out of there. Um, and then defense. What can you say about the defense? You got Vaughn Miller, you got Demarcus Ware, and then you got Akib Talib, which should should go well in that defense. And, and obviously, def- Denver's survives under defense. They slow teams down a little bit. Um, with the AG Peyton Manning, I don't think he can throw to deep ball anymore. So it's going to be interesting to see how they um, get him into this offense in a way of cuts across the middle, um, not deep patterns, maybe some out patterns, some decent, but. In any sense, like I said, you know, call me crazy, but I think Denver wins this division again. Um, they they go 11 and five this year. I think they win a division. They open up at home, or excuse me, they open up at Baltimore, and after the bye week, they come back with home against Green Bay, home against Indian, home against Kansas City. That stretch right there is going to see what Denver's going to win a division. Or not. I think they do win a division. I think they get in the playoffs, but I do think this is going to be one of Peyton Manning's. Last couple years in the league, I think he's definitely going to be struggling after this year. But um, I'd say Denver number one. That's all the time we have for the Sports Box in the AFC West. Keep an eye out for my other divisional specials. And remember, the Sports Box, the only opinion that matters is right here. Thanks for watching. Take care.